Alrighty, so four weeks into flight training. We're one month into going to flight school. That is crazy to say if like, it's actually all becoming very real now. Like it actually feels like I'm becoming a pilot. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get a hang of things a lot better. I'm gonna go over what we went over through the ground training, through the flights, so that way you guys get a perspective of where you guys would be in the one month of flight training. But let's go over, oh, I wanna give you guys a pointer uh, if you guys are just now starting. Go ahead and get the big log book. I got the big boy where it has a ton of pages. I see a lot of people around the school walking with their little uh, log book. And by the time you finish your 1500 hours, you don't wanna carry like four different log books. It's better just to carry one. That way it's all in one place and you don't lose one, of the log one out of the four log books that you might have. Um, so it's better just to have one. And also the lines are just a lot thicker. So you could, it's not like messy, you know? So yeah. If I would suggest anything, get that big log book. It's just, it's a lot cleaner. But as far as the ground school, what we went over, let's flip the page here. We went over how to uh, recover from a spin, even though we're not training to spin, it's good to know. Uh, and then what does v VR mean? What does VY mean? What does VX mean? Uh, we, I learned that the plane has a tendency to turn to the left and why that is. We also learned how to get into like the downwind of like traffic. So, you know, there's like a traffic pattern that every single um, airport has and how to like get into it. What is the base? What is the final? Um, yeah, also the four C's of the go around, which is cram, clear, climb, call out. So if you do have to go around, uh, that's, those are your call outs. Those are your uh, go around procedures. Um, yeah, ground has been still pretty easy. We've been getting into uh, weather recently and that's getting a lot more complicated. I've been also learning like the different types of clouds that there's like three levels of high clouds, medium clouds, and then low clouds. That gets a little bit complicated and it's a lot of uh, memorizing. I still got all of the more flashcards added uh, from last week. And it's good just to keep it up to date because for the written, I'm sure that some of these will be on there. But yes, a lot of memorizing. Flashcards are very useful in aviation. Um, all right, as far as the fun stuff, the flying, flying's been super great. I've been catching on even more. Let me pull out my iPad because I got some notes on here. All righty. Also, my screensaver is Scottsdale Airport because that way I see it and I get to read it a lot more, a lot more often. All right, so what do we do with the flights this week? we started getting into stalls and i don't know why for some reason i thought that stalls were like the plane shuts off in the middle of the air but it's not necessarily all you're pretty much doing is getting that plane really slow like uncomfortably slow to like 45 knots um and you're pitching up enough to so you your critical angle of attack so the wind, see I got a plane to show you guys now. Um, so pretty much so that there's not, there's higher pressure on top of the plane rather than under the plane because higher pressure under the plane is what makes the plane fly. So that at that point where it's too high, that's where it starts to like fall down and you have to learn how to recover from that. Um, so yeah, that's what we practice this week. They're called stalls and you're not really turning off the plane, which that's what I thought is just you're getting in that critical angle of attack where the plane kind of just starts dropping altitude at an uncomfortable amount, you know, and you have to learn how to like just recover from that where the plane starts flying again. So yes, stalls is a big thing, especially when you do your check ride, they're gonna, um, they're obviously going to test you on the stalls. we are also got into doing go arounds, go arounds were a little bit tougher, I will say, um, just because you're approaching into 
landing, and then right before you're about to land, you go full throttle, you're pitching up, and uh, you're taking off. Actually, they weren't that difficult. Um, but yeah, we practiced a lot of those, and that kind of just gets you ready for landing the full thing, right? Because if you are uncomfortable and you are taking an unstable approach, then that way you know right away what to do, right? You're gonna go full throttle, you're pitching up, and then you gotta announce ATC. Um, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Also, ATC, let's talk about that. My call, my um, radio calls, they're getting way better. I'm getting a little bit more confident. I'm still having to be like told what to say a lot of the times, but man, the more you're in that plane, like the more it clicks, like, big time and you could just you get an ear for it you know it's only my if you really put it in perspective it's only like my 10th time flying so it's not that much you're not going to be good at anything if you do it 10 times right we also practiced um we also practiced steep turns and the steep turns were they're easy, but they make your stomach feel very uncomfortable. And I kind of did the mistake of eating like right before my flight. Don't do that. Eat about an hour before your flight. That way your stomach can digest it and you have a stable stomach where you're not feeling sick from uh, the G's. But yeah, pretty much with the steep turns, you have to like pull back hard uh, on the yoke so that way you're not losing um, elevation, altitude. But yeah, that's pretty much how the um, flights have been going. It's been really, it's getting real. Like, it's getting really real. Um, they actually just texted me like an hour ago that I need to pay for my check ride and my written, which I was just like, dang, like this is really, really like happening. I'm about to like be a private pilot. And also they just told me that in three weeks, I'm gonna be doing my first solo. So dang, like that's freaking crazy to think about. Oh man. Um, also with these whole videos, I wanna take you guys along. I don't think they're gonna allow for me to record in the plane, but I'm thinking that when I do my first solo that I'll just have my wife record and I'll take you guys along kind of like a day in a life of a student pilot during his first solo. So I guess you guys get a perspective of what that's like. But yeah, I wish I could show you guys more inside of the plane on how everything looks, but unfortunately a lot of these schools don't really allow you. But as far as the whole flying goes, this is what we fly. We fly a nice little Cherokee uh, Piper and with the glass cockpit. Yeah, I, I really like these things. As far as anything else, Let's talk about some motivation. Let's talk about perspective. Let's talk about perspective of becoming a pilot because everybody says, oh my God, it takes so long to get to 1,500 hours. It's gonna take you three years to do it. It's gonna take you four years to do it. Yeah, if you take your sweet freaking time, it probably will take you three, four years. But if you're gonna grind, if you're gonna hustle, if you're gonna take some additional flights that maybe you pay out of pocket for, instead of you just doing it as a CFI, it'll probably take you one year, you know? It's all dependent on how motivated you are, how bad do you really wanna do this thing? And the way that I put it in my head, if you really think about it, you need 1,500 hours, right? Well, that's only you getting up in the air about 700 times. So that's not really that many times. Like flying only 700 times and then you're a full on like jet pilot, it's not, that much you know have a positive mind about it um i think i'm gonna be able to do it in about a year of time after i get all my ratings um but we'll see you know at the end of the day there's no rush something like this you don't want to rush um so whenever it gets done it gets done like i said in the last video there's no date on how fast you accomplish it you, there's no reward on if you accomplish it any faster than anybody else so it is what it is. Whenever you do it, accomplish it, so be it. But yes, that's gonna conclude the first month of flight training. Oh my gosh, that sounds so crazy to say. I'm becoming a private pilot pretty soon. Hopefully in like a month, another month, and I'll get my certificate, but we'll see. I'll take you guys along the journey 
and subscribe, like the video, leave your guys' comments down below where you guys are in your flight journey. And yes, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.